I am done with the cheating and the lying. I am done. <laughs> what do you expect? You're never here. We made vows. You made promises to me. And you broke them. Vows? You're always working. You're never home. David is staying with me. David? David's going with me. I'm his father. He's my son. He's going with me. This is his home. He is staying here. Why don't you ask him where he wants to stay? You ask him! Hi, oh, yeah, sweetie. Um, I'm sorry. Everything's okay. Daddy and I are just... We're just talking. Daddy's moving out. And you're gonna stay with Mommy. Okay? No, oh, honey, you're gonna come with Daddy. Listen, this is his home. Why don't you tell Daddy that this is your house, and this is where your friends live, and your school, and this is where you're gonna stay, because you and Mommy, right? You, you, you come with Daddy? And, and we're gonna live close by. You're gonna go to the same school. All your friends, they can come over and hang out all the time. Good luck paying for it. You're gonna stay with mommy, okay? Because it's, it's you and me, right? Just tell daddy that you wanna stay with mommy. Nah, oh, come on, okay? pal, we're gonna have fun. Life is not all about fun, okay? Listen, you know that you can trust mommy. They found that children who grew up in homes with high levels of conflict ended up with more physical, emotional, and social challenges later on in life. A study by the University of York found that the children of divorced parents are more damaged by the arguments that occurred during marriage than by the split itself. Witnessing fights at home means that they're 30% more likely to develop behavioral issues compared to other kids. Ongoing conflict between parents can affect a child's mental health, the development of their social and emotional skills, academic attainment, and most importantly, their future relationships. We may not be able to avoid fighting, but we can avoid dragging children into the fight. We can avoid forcing them to choose. We can avoid forcing them to take sides. We can avoid forcing them to become a part of our anger and aggression. When we recognize the consequences of our actions on a child's life, not just the next day, not just the next year, but potentially decades, we can start to become more conscious of the way we behave around them. When children see parents lead with empathy, act with compassion, and see them recognizing that they're on the same team, that can be a complete shift in a child's future experiences. Children don't do as you say, they do as you do.